and let us all that we can to build a better future. So, Daniel, I got a plan for everything. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you how to do it or how it's going to be done, but I got a plan. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It sounds, I, I, I sense um, there's a, some, I, I, sense some, I sense some vibrations in the ground. I sense a slithering side to side action happening. I, yeah. Am I, am I close? Do I feel like I'm getting in the right direction? Yeah, actually, I got a fantastic okay. letter. First, let's pull up that tweet, tweet, tweet from Easy Street. So here's Elizabeth Warren. Uh, Casino-like swings in stock prices at GameStop reflect wild levels of speculation that don't help GameStop's workers or customers and what can, could lead to market instability. Today, I told the SEC to explain what exactly is it's doing to prevent market manipulation. I have a full letter for you all to enjoy. So, uh, Elizabeth, Senator Elizabeth Warren, acting uh, chair, uh, wrote a letter to uh, acting uh, chair of the SEC, uh, Allison Heron Lee. Uh, here's what's going on. Uh, this is what she wrote. And pay attention. And Daniel, you have my permission to be absolutely brutal and on the nose. Okay. So uh, let's 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 see what Warren wrote. Uh, I, <clears throat> I am writing uh, regarding the recent surge in share prices for the video game retailer GameStop. Okay, I'm gonna uh, stop you right there, Kit. Everyone knows she's writing. Mm-hmm. It's text. No, okay, I'm not I'm yeah. going too hard. I'll, uh, I'll dice, dice it back a little bit. Whose stocks are up 1,700 percent. Uh, uh, this month, including Wednesday's climb of 135%, driven by what one expert called a flash mob with money. These wild swings in value of GameStop... By the way, I just want to point out, just mm-hmm. in general, I love and appreciate so dearly, and you can tell I'm being non-sarcastic with my voice, mm-hmm. how all these very wealthy, very educated, very, again, rich people keep anything that's like that they don't like. It's a mob. Mm-hmm. It's a rabble. It's something demeaning. It's not a group of people. Not it's yet. not people in people. their homes spending their time uh, in the way that the government has said that they should in a capitalist society. It's mob. Yeah, always. And other companies that are subject to similar bets by traders are detached from the factors that traditionally help establish a company's value to investors. I am deeply concerned about these casino-like swings in the value of GameStop and other companies' shares are yet another example of the gamesmanship that interferes with the fair, orderly, efficient function of the market, raising obvious questions about public confidence in the market and those trading in it. By the way, okay, so jump back in. Warren is bringing up weariness with stock transactions when mm-hmm. people like you are involved in it, but not when people that she is with that are highly educated Wall Street brokers. I don't mm-hmm. hear this sort of topic talked about in this sort of level when it's stockbrokers. I just hear it when it's you. I am writing to seek information on how the SEC is, uh, intends to address these concerns and prevent these and future incidents from potential market manipulation. Hedge funds such as Melvin Capital Management have bet that GameStop shares would fall in the hopes of re- reaping substantial profits. In recent weeks, however, share prices for GameStop began to rise with a dramatic surge in recent days fueled not by any changes in the company's economic fundamentals, but by anonymous traders on the Reddit forum Wall Street Bets. News reports state that these traders quickly uh, moved quickly to buy option uh, contracts in an attempt to target large investors. This epic contest between Wall Street traders who bet against stocks and legions of small-scale investors has fueled a level of speculation not seen since the tail end of the dot-com boom two decades ago. That happened in the 90s, for those of you well, who I, mean, I can't think of anything. I mean, let's say there's 1990s, then there's now. Can't think of anything happening in between them regarding the stock market. Yeah, nothing happened in 2008. Don't worry about it, folks. It's all good. These shifts also raise questions about broader instabilities in the market and financial system, as no one knows how this ends. Oh, no. And this intense activity could eventually prompt a wider sell-off in the market by forcing hedge funds on the losing side of these trades to sell parts of their portfolios to raise cash to cover their losses. In addition to GameStop, several other publicly traded companies, including AMC, BlackBerry, Bed Bath & beyond nokia you, you and tootsie I, roll industries you know i don't hear in that list elizabeth warren's putting out mm-hmm. betty's diner mm. john's hardware mm. any Smoke. mom and pop place i haven't heard her talk about those people and how they've gotten screwed over by this huge process or the other companies that just get screwed over by other short sellers by the way fun fact about short selling that i didn't mention in the previous segment you have to have a special license to do it. You can't just as a regular person short sell only if you're a Wall Street mm-hmm. bigwig. 
Can you, Can do, you that? do that? So again, I'm going to read these companies and get names again because in addition to GameStop, several other publicly traded companies, including AMC, BlackBerry, Bed Bath & Beyond, Nokia, and Tootsie World Industries, have seen huge shifts in their share price driven by similar internet trading schemes. This wasn't a scheme. This was a bunch of people who got together and decided to play the game that's there. It's called a free market, everyone. Roll with it. These wild uh, fluctuations are just the latest indication that many private equity firms, hedge funds, and other investors, big and small, are treating the stock market like a, like a casino. It's always been a casino, Warren. Come on, what world are you living in? Giving little consideration to the companies, communities, workers, and consumers that may be affected by these risky wait, bets. Are we sure she's not talking about the Wall, Wall Street itself? No, way. it's time now, so never mind. The recent chaos reveals a clear distortion in the security markets with benefits occurring to investors that do not clearly benefit the companies, workers, consumers, or the broader economy. So let's just play a hypothetical scenario. Let's say, for example, nothing happened with Wall Street bets. Let's say it never happened. GameStop was going down, and it was because of hedge fund managers. What was going to happen to those workers? Everyone remember Toys R Us? Look what happened to those hedge fund managers right. did to that. And don't forget good old Mitt Romney, who's a senator. He was part of those vulture capitalist mm -hmm. culture there, killing and so gutting okay, companies. He does it. Hey, yeah. he did it in an ordered fashion. I think it's. Really, yeah. I think maybe the biggest takeaway is that previous segment we did with the guy with the Wolf of Wall Street. I think that what he was really just saying is, guys, keep doing what you're doing. Just learn the game of wording and don't say. Really, it seemed like all he was saying is don't say anything about doing something as a group. Mm -hmm. Now, although federal security law prohibits market participants from misrepresenting a company's prospects to artificially affect its share price. There is a troubling lack of clarity regarding who the major market participants are in this case and the degree to which the activities may be coordinated. With many of these traders cloaked in anonymity, uh, there is no way of knowing whether messages touting GameStop come from average Joes or scam artists executing a pump and dump a stops, a stock scheme. So in other words, if there is ever to be a trial, I doubt anyone from Wall Street Bets is going to be in, 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 in any kind of hearing at all whatsoever. You want to know whose side we're going to hear? It's we're going to hear from hedge fund managers crying and begging and screaming at their prostitutes. I mean, the congressional men and women in the United States Congress on how they how they desperately need help because average people did this. And the thing is, I'm not hearing Warren really kind of going to bat for these people in this letter because, again, you, you, again, I'm going to read this. With many of these traders cloaked in anonymity, there is no way of knowing whether messages touting GameStop come from average Joes or scam artists executing a pump and dump stock scheme. Think about that for a minute. Just, I mean, it's kind of like weird for a writer like yeah, again, that. Again, the big difference is that they're a public message board and they're, the really, the thing is, the thing that they're really being punished for, let's be real, is being too transparent. Yep. That's what the crime is. That's the only difference. Yeah. So, Again, the letter goes on to continue. The manipulation of share prices may exacerbate inequality and the impacts of the ongoing pandemic-related economic collapse. While investors work to outmaneuver each other in search of short-term profits, working families continue to suffer, underscoring the growing disconnect between the stock market and the real economy. Then I must ask you, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren, why did you and your fellow colleagues constantly vote for these uh, bailout packages, especially at the height of pandemic, where, again, millions of Americans were left holding the bag, but yet corporations and foreign companies get bailed out. Uh, private equity firms get bailed out. Private equity firms and corporations are getting people PPE loans and getting bailouts again and again and again. I mean, you know, where's where, where's all this concern now? But I guess because now your uh, Wall Street friends are suffering, uh, you got to go to bat for them real quick with this letter that's trying to seem like it cares for working class families, but it really doesn't. For example, millions of workers have lost their jobs or left the workforce altogether amid the pandemic and economic collapse. But America's 614 billionaires grew their net worth by a collective 931 billion in the roughly seven months following the beginning of the pandemic. Again, why did Congress bail out these corporations? And now because they're crying to you guys, you're trying to do something because regular people got involved in the game and decide to screw people and screw over, you know, the top 1% because Wall Street is nothing but one big Ponzi scheme. The rapid growth of economic inequality is in large part due to the disproportionate impacts of surges in the stock market, which has rebounded dramatically since the onset of the public health emergency. The stock market is not reflective of real economic conditions left 
by communities across the country, and traders treating security markets as casinos exploit these growing disparities and the companies and workers that underline their gambles. The SEC has a mandate to protect investors' fair, orderly, and efficient markets to facilitate capital formation and promote market a, pro, a market environment that is worthy of the public's trust. Type one if you if you trust the market. Type two if you want to give yeah, it the middle and finger. And again, she's literally describing the normal day to day function of Wall Street in her complaint about again little people answering the call it's really like okay this is the warren who her entire thing is like hey i'm she's she's like all the democrats that they run against mitch mcconnell hey i'm like bernie sanders i'm just not as good at like anything and i have a technocratic bureaucratic some people are unable to get this process she didn't have a plan period and, and by the way and then to bernie's universal program and this is like the exact same thing she's like hey i don't want to universally say not to do this but i do think a good well tuned bureaucracy telling the little guy to shove off is what we need in this situation this is elizabeth warren we're talking what this is the people that thought that oh man do you remember in the election do you remember in the primary all the people that gave you crap that were elizabeth warren supporters that said she was good and progressive and how dare you be sexist enough to vote for or think about bernie sanders well where are those people now mm. you better find those people find those messages and send them back this story and say what were you talking about again? Again. So she goes on to uh, uh, write, The commission must review recent market activity affecting GameStop and other companies and act to ensure the markets reflect real value rather than the highly leveraged bets of wealthy traders or those who seek to inflict financial damage on those traders to protect and restore public trust in sound security regulation and enforcement. The commission must identify gaps in existing security laws and rules and ways in which the commission can improve its enforcement capabilities. While you U.S. laws bear, uh, bars the dissemination of false or misleading information with the aim of manipulating investors into buying or selling securities, SEC standards and enforcement of market manipulation remain woefully unclear. The public deserves clear answers about how federal regulators define market manipulation. So basically she's saying that the, uh, the Wall Street bets manipulate the market, even though Wall Street hedge fund managers have been doing it for years. Decades, there I say it. How investors may have profited from potential manipulation and what the SEC will do to mitigate these practices. This means that the commission must work quickly to issue rules outlining what it means for traders to manipulate securities, prices in violation of the law, and to offer guidance for market participants. While recent market volatility shows rapidly fluctuating prices for GameStop not tied to any fundamental changes in the company's finances or prospect, these speculation practices are not new. In fact, for almost a year now, investors have been biting up the shares in companies like Tesla, Shopify, and Snap to prices that bear little relation to the actual earnings prospects of the underlying companies. Okay, right there. Wait, got pause there Go for ahead. a second. Okay, Elizabeth Warren it just did something really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. Stock investment is a risky bet, even if this if even if this situation and the way this was structured was fair and balanced. What she's saying is absolutely, positively, an insane thing to say by someone who clearly doesn't understand how this works. The whole point of a stock market is the idea that companies can't set their own value. If they could, there would be no need for stock markets. Everyone would just get their money from getting bank loans. The reason that stocks are set the way they are with people buying and selling is because the stockbrokers and the market themselves determines the value of the company. Those are the people that do it, the people that buy and sell the stocks. That's an issue that we talk about on the show, but that is nonetheless the way things are and the way things work on the stock market. So when Elizabeth Warren says that she's worried that someone is valuing or determining the value of a stock outside of the viewpoint, whose viewpoint? Definitely not the people that are buying and selling it, you? Okay, why don't you buy or sell stocks? Why don't you short stocks? If you believe the price is overvalued right now, you should go out and get a short on GameSpot right now. GameStop right now. Because it's how how arrogant. That's a, again, we've been talking about this for a while. This is an example of Warren not believing in math. Math that we don't agree with the way it's set up, granted. But nonetheless, she's basically denying the very fundamental way that stock markets exist, where you set the price 
for what you think it is, and other people do the same. So can you read that last sentence again, just so we can remind why this is okay. such a stupid sentence? In fact, oh, well, actually, it's a longer sentence. Actually. Okay, let's so, do it. In fact, for almost a year now, investors have been buying up shares in companies like Tesla, Shopify, and Snap to prices that bear little relation to the actual earning prospects of the underlying companies. So right there again, another way I can say this is she is effectively predicting as an omniscient person how much companies are going to make in the future mm -hmm. by saying that. And the frenzy also stirs memories of the 1990s dot-com boom when a surge of day trading contributed to the inflation of an epic market bubble. It's long beyond time for the SEC to act. This is like a big finger waving right here. That's, that's, that's what we're getting from Warren. In order to better understand how the commission plans to address the dramatic price fluctuations of certain share prices in recent days and to ensure the integrity of our capital markets, I ask that you respond to the following questions by Friday, February 5th, 2021. These are some stupid questions, but I, I get it. I get it. I get it. What were the causes of the recent dramatic shift in the GameStop share prices? Did these shifts represent a fair and orderly efficient market function? Did the sharp rise in GameStop share reflect the changes in the company's fundamental value? If not, what drove these changes of the GameStop share prices? To what extent did large investors such as such as hedge funds like Melvin Capital Management and their short positions impact the fluctuation of GameStop share prices? Did any of these practice, uh, practices violate existing security laws? To what extent did the online message boards such as those on Reddit or broader social media amplification impact the fluctuation of GameStop prices? Did any of these practices violate existing security laws? This is what I'm saying. Kind of like screwing over the little guy almost, you know, because these were regular people that got that played Wall Street's game. This is the game that Wall Street created. It's the free market, everybody. This is it, right? This is this is this is literally Elizabeth Warren going running into a very large room with a lot of uh, poker poker playing and uh, roulette tables and going, "Hey, there's no gambling here." And then looking and realizing she's in Caesars in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Now here's something else. Do the wild swings in the value of GameStop and other companies affected by similar trading schemes present any systematic concerns for financial systems or the stock market? Because we got to worry about the stock market. What were uh, what steps will the SEC take to ensure the security markets better reflect prices that are in line with the intrinsic and fundamental value of underlying companies? Please describe the impacts of disorderly, inefficient, and unfair prices in the security markets on communities, consumers, workers, and investors. Because you got to put that in there, Warren. Because you got to cover your butt. Warren's right? like, hey, I got it right. I yeah. got to protect. That I'm got, still with the got, people. Got, got, got to pretend. Got to pretend. Uh, what steps will the SEC take to update the implement rules defining market manipulation? Please provide a detailed timeline. Please describe any gaps in the SEC's current regulatory regime in addressing market manipulation. Please describe any gaps in the SEC's current enforcement practices, capabilities to address market manipulation. Senator Elizabeth Warren, your check is in the mail. I mean, your campaign contribution is in the mail. And here, here's the crazy thing. This really does feel like Warren's like, ooh, ooh, this is my topic. I got to be involved with this, but I really don't know what's going on. Yep. So is Warren going to bat for Wall Street? The way this letter is written out, I would say kind of, yeah, sort of, maybe. You, hey, Kit, you want to you wanna put a bet on that? No, I mean, yeah. I think we both know we're so, working on that. So after reading that letter, it's just like, it's almost a do nothing uh, letter. It's a finger wagging letter. It's asking questions. And remember, you know, Warren's whole shtick was to be another Bernie Sanders and she was propped up. But at the end of the day, you know, w what did she do? She kept on flip flopping on all the issues. And this little letter is, that's it. Just a letter. She's probably not going to get answered by it anyways. And the thing is, uh, should there be a hearing or anything like this in Washington, D.C. in regards to what happened with GameStop? Uh, Wall Street bets will not be able to defend their point of view because, again, Congress is bought and owned by Wall Street executives, big banks, and corporations. But here, I want to cleanse everyone's minds. Do you want to see these Wall Street people cry? Do you want to see them get angry? Let's play this first video. I think it was the first one's from Ali Alexandria. She found this little Damn. lovely gem. Oh, see, these are the adults that we have to respect. Motherfuckers. Fuck you, idiots. Fucking bunch of cocks. Suckers. Fucking pussies. Nobody wants to fucking go. I'm ready to fucking rip somebody's fucking head off. Yeah, take that fucking thing, Nordy. I'll fucking smash your... 
fucking hit him. Fucking. All right, let's pause that. Let's play the next See, one. See, these are the people who we need to respect. Mm. These are the investors who are worthy of our time and respect. Not and really. those people in their pajamas, in their homes, when they can't work, those are the people we need to belittle. And the thing is, like, look. I hate and this. This video should boil your blood, but the fact that he is panicking and crying and he looks down at us should should remind all of you right now when we play this video that Wall Street does not deserve our respect. They've been screwing us over for years, and they want to keep on screwing us over. So play that video phase, and we'll move on to our next story. The reason the market is doing what it's doing is people are sitting at home getting the checks from the government, okay? And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together and pull together. Oh, well, let's doing pause it. Doing it. Man, he's right. Where are all the rich people working together and pulling together for people like you? Yeah. Well, here's what I have to say to that. And here's what I think of Warren's do nothing letter. There we go. I'm not going to rip it up because I'm not going to waste any energy on it. I mean, you should have gone forward. There would have been more camera beautiful because that yeah. was a nice flicker, but no one saw it. Uh, yeah, whatever. So here, right, right. Yeah, I'll help. I'll do it. Kit was doing ready. It's yeah, probably okay. not as effectively ready. That was terrible. See, I told you it was not going to be as effective. 